All right, so we're going to balance the redox reaction FeOH2 plus CrO4 2 minus. We're going to do it in basic medium. We'll start out in acidic medium and then add a step at the end. Some people like to add that step in the middle. I prefer to put it on at the end. First thing we do, write the oxidation numbers. So I've written the oxidation numbers for the things that have changed here, the things that we're interested in. If you need help with oxidation numbers or really any of these steps here, jump over to breslin.org slash redox for guides and practice and so on. So the oxidation numbers, we have those. Now we need to write the half reactions. So the iron went from plus two to plus three, the chromium plus six to plus four. It's pretty easy to see the plus six to plus four, that number got smaller. That's the reduction. So this is gonna be our oxidation up here, this one right here. All right, let's write the half reactions. So we have our oxidation half reaction and then our reduction half reaction. Now what we need to do is we need to balance each half reaction. So to do this, we're first gonna balance the atoms of interest. Those are the ones that oxidation numbers changed for. One iron and two, so we gotta put a two here. Then down here, chromium and chromium, that's already balanced. Then we balance the oxygen atoms. So I have two times the one, that's two times two. Four over here and just three here. So I'm gonna add a water molecule. After all, the reaction's taking place in water. So we have lots of water available. H2O here. Down here I have four and four times one. That's good. Let's add some hydrogen ions here to balance the hydrogen atoms. This is taking place in acidic medium. That's what we're saying right now. So we can add hydrogen because H plus, that makes it an acid, right? So I have two times one, that's two times two. Four here, only two here. So it looks like I need to add two hydrogen ions over here. Let's shrink this down some. The hydrogens are balanced here. Here we don't have any on this side. We have four times one, four here. So we need to add four hydrogen ions. So now the hydrogen ions are the same on both sides of our half reactions. Last step is we balance charge, we add electrons. So it's neutral here, I have a two plus here, let's add two negative charges to balance that, two electrons. Over here, we have four plus and two minus, so we have two plus overall and nothing here. So let's add two negative charges here, so everything on this side here adds up to zero, this is zero, we've balanced the charge. So at this point, you should stop and make sure the atoms are the same on each side, and the charge is the same on each side for both half reactions. You'll often catch a small error that would really mess things up later. Good to do it now. So now we need to balance for overall charge. And in this case, we're good because over here, we have two electrons that were lost. And over here, they are the same electrons. They were gained in this half of the reaction. So we can kind of just move forward. We don't have to equalize the electrons. They're the same on both sides. So I'm gonna take the reactants here put them down here, and then the products, I'm gonna take these, put them down here, and we'll have our redox reaction. And now we have the redox reaction for FeOH2 plus CrO4 2 minus. We do need to cancel some things out because we have two electrons here and here. Let's get rid of those. We have two H plus here and four H plus here, so four minus two is two. So we get rid of these and call this two. Clean it up. And this is the balanced redox in acidic medium. Now we wanted to have it in basic medium. So the one last step, we're gonna add a base to both sides. So let's add some hydroxide ions to both sides. Let's put two OH minus here, cause that's gonna neutralize our acid here. Over here, we still have to add two OH minus as well, since we did to the other side. And now the two OH minus and the two H plus, they combine to form two water molecules. So they just form two water molecules. And finally, since we have a water molecule down here and two up here, we need to get rid of this one and we'll just call this one H2O. And now we're done balancing the redox reaction for FeOH2 plus CrO4 two minus in both acidic and finally we did it in basic medium. This stuff is hard. If you need more help, jump over to my website here and you can get all the help you need to do redox reactions in acidic and in basic medium. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.